Coming right up, the Bucks taking on the Lakers for the Milwaukee Bucks. They start their season off in front of a raucous home crowd. They are amped up and ready to tip things off right. Lakers, Bucks on 2K Sports. Welcome, everybody, to the day we've all been looking forward to. The start of a new NBA season on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan courtside with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg and our reporter tonight on the sideline, David Aldridge. And here's what the schedule for the Lakers looks like. On Tuesday, they'll take on Stephen Curry and the Golden State Warriors. Then on Friday... They'll be matching up with Chris Paul and the Phoenix Suns. Now it's ended down to David Aldridge standing by from the sidelines. David? Thank you, Kevin. We all know that Giannis Adentacumpo is the Greek freak, but he doesn't want to limit himself to any country. He said that family members have told me I can't be the face of the league because I'm not American. But man, if I can't do it being me, then I don't want to be the face of the league. I know where I came from, what me and my family have been through, and it's something I take pride in. Kevin? Well said, David. Wonderful story. Thank you. And I know every player counts down the seconds to opening night, Clark. How exciting was it for you to be on the court when the games finally took on real meaning? You know, Kevin, it was always exciting because you never take it lightly. It's a great blessing to be able to play. And after you've gone through preseason, the preseason games and training camp and the like, you're excited to have the energy of the crowd in the building and the game starting to count for real. So it's always exciting. And now the Lakers starting group. And they have their big three all out there. Westbrook at the point with LeBron and Davis at the forward. Monk is out there with Mark Gasol. And for Milwaukee, the big man on the floor, Giannis and Lopez. The wingmen, DiVincenzo and Middleton. And it's Holiday in at the point guard position. Now here's James to the paint. And there's Davis. That's good on the assist by James. And I tell you what, AD is able to brush off those defenders with ease because of how strong he is. That's what they call weight room. Here's Holiday. Pass to Middleton. Takes a three. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter steal, but not who you want to leave open. Now here's Westbrook. Outside Gasol. Davis, the pass to James. Just four to shoot. The Lakers rebound. A second chance effort. And Davis lays it in. You know, it's not only his size and strength and athleticism, but Davis's timing is so special. That's why he boards it so well. Now here's Young. The feed to Middleton. And Davis sends it back. First quarter, about a minute and a half in. Pass to Gasol. James in the post, covered by Giannis. Uh, you know, he's almost the perfect defensive player. He's got length and strength, and he's athletic. And Giannis plays the game hard all the time, too, which is impressive. Now here is Holiday. And James pulls it down. And Davis wide open. He shoots. And he wills that one in. Sinking right through off the back iron. Well, LeBron James is clearly a tremendously talented passer. When a guy is open, he'll get him the ball. Holiday with it. It's all covering. Holiday against Westbrook. Lopez with the bucket. Lopez is really dangerous as a shooter if you give him space to catch and then shoot. 
Ben Holiday just does so much on the floor. But for me, defense is his number one attribute. He, he's arguably the best perimeter defender in the league. A shot's good from LeBron. And they've scored several times already here in the first quarter on the inside. Holiday, the pass to Giannis. Here's DiVincenzo. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Holiday, an elite defender, Greg, as you said, makes life difficult for opposing guards. And he does a great job of playing D with his feet. Comes up with some blocks and steals each game as well. Never gets lost on a play. That free throw missing. Kevin, I don't think we can overstate how big a deal it was for Holiday to come to the Bucks. I mean, this team went after him hard, and you can see why. He's such a terrific all-around player and a great leader as well. And he sinks the second. And Holiday was a hot name when he went on the trading block. Bucks paid the big price to get it. And I think trading for him helped secure Giannis long term, quite honestly. He really does complement this roster. And now the fast break. Middleton with the ball. Teardrop shot. And the rejection by James. Great anticipation that time from LeBron. He sees the shot forming and gets there to swat it down. Tipped away. And the Lakers turn it over again. And here's a look at some stats for Westbrook. He's coming off an excellent season. He averaged 22 points per game last season. 11 assists and 11 rebounds. And his rebounding is what's most impressive. He's shown tremendous determination on the backboard. And it's a big asset for this team. I mean, he blocks out on the defensive glass, and then he keeps balls alive at the offensive end. Now here is Holiday. Giannis outside. A miss that time would have put him up. Well, that's a look he has to finish, and he knows it. Lone opportunity. Outside Westbrook. And it's sent back by Lopez. Great timing on Lopez's part there to squat down that attempt. And to Takumbo. And onto Takumbo sends it in. Kevin, he is tough to stop when he gets to the rim. Yeah, Greg, he can get up a few notches higher. Well, and that's exactly how the game is played in the paint inside, guys. I mean, if you can play over the top, I think you've got a big advantage. And so it's the Lakers with it, following the bucket by the Bucks. Here's Westbrook. And it's rebounded by Drew Holiday. And the Kumbo inside. Hunt defending. Boy, the overwhelming strength of Giannis just excels at fighting his way through the defense. Very impressive. Westbrook finds James. Shoots the three. And the Lakers with another miss. No doubt he's struggling right now from the field. Let's see if he can get it going this quarter. Middleton, a scorer by nature. That time showing you he can find his teammates, too. And so Westbrook will bring it up for the Lakers. It's a five-point game. This game against Milwaukee here. It's their first look to start the season.
get a chance to check out the story on Giannis Antetokounmpo. Coming off a terrific season. Fifth in scoring, ninth in rebounding, and a great touch around the rim. Top 15 in field goal percentage. And clearly one of the dominant scorers we have in this league. His top five ranking last year puts him right there in the ranks of the elite. James outside. Inside. They need this one. And James throws it down. You know, with each season in the league, AD's become more of a facilitator. Actually, he's much more aware of how to make plays for his teammates. Now, here is Holiday. Middleton outside. Giannis high post. No good that time. And the Lakers will go the other way with it. Here's Westbrook. Not going to go that time. You know, I'd have been very impressed if he had got that one to go. Tough D. Onto the Kumbo looking it over. Down low. And it's out of bounds. The Bucks able to retain possession here. Here are the top distributors from last season. These guys always seem to find the open man. Russell Westbrook, number one. And it was the kind of season that he'd like to repeat over and over. Nobody was better at creating easy baskets for their teammates. And out of the combo with the jam. You know, he attracts a lot of attention, and Lopez making the most of it there to set his teammate up with an open look. Davis with a screen on Middleton. James catched a monk. And out of bounds as the Bucks gain possession. Romelo Anthony, he's checked in for the Lakers. And here's Holiday. Westbrook with the block. Hey, the athleticism of Westbrook not only on display offensively, he can throw shots out of there too. The wide open look here for Lopez, and it's off from three-point range. Westbrook with it. Now guarded by Giannis. Westbrook passes to Carmelo. Lopez with the block. Now here's DiVincenzo. He's guarded closely. And James pulls it down. Lakers trail by five. Westbrook scanning the floor. Count it. Well, you watch Westbrook play, and he seems like he's relentlessly hungry and borderline angry. He never settles, always in full attack mode. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Bucks. You know what, guys? It looks to me like they're really in sync here, all on the same page. They've already got a bunch of assists. And, and the What's other up? thing that's been equally as effective is the fact that they've gotten out on the fast break. A lot of points coming in transition. The free throw drops for Russell Westbrook. Hey, you can't diminish Westbrook's triple doubles, but just as important to me are the intangibles. His passion, his tenacity, his competitive spirit and drive. I mean, that infects the whole team in a positive way. Here's Connaughton. Here's Allen. And he drops it in from the low post. And the Bucks lead by four. Los Angeles has gone 0 of 2 from deep here. Here's Westbrook. Rebound, Milwaukee. Now here is Hill. Outside Portis. Here's Allen. It's tipped. And the reason works his butt off on defense. I mean, whether he's down low or on the perimeter, he knows how to block shots. Here's Anthony, and good, and it takes a nice bounce off the right iron and down. Well, he could have earned some style points there, but he really doesn't need to use the fadeaway when he's that wide open. Hill finds Lopez. Here's Connaughton. Back to Lopez. The box working the ball around. Passes it to Portis. Now Lopez. Just five on the clock. For three, Hill. Monk grabs the board. The Lakers trail. 
Ariza outside. Out to the right wing. Howard with it. Picked up by Portis. Here's Westbrook. He nails it. And we're tied up. Westbrook's got five now. The defense all over Westbrook there, but he's crafty. He's slick. And he was focused on that shot. And the pass to Connaughton. Over in the corner, Portis. Back to Connaughton. Over a reason. That one doesn't go. And the Lakers take it the other way. To the inside, Anthony. Another shot. He takes it up and lays it in. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Yeah, I think they've got to ramp up the aggressiveness. If they don't, things are just going to get worse from here. Here's Connaughton. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Portis kicks to Hill. Allen outside. The Bucks need to get a shot off here. Yes, that goes in. Lopez has got his second best. Taking it strong. Nice finish by the big fella. Way to get after it, Lopez. Bobbed up there for Howard. And it's sent back by Lopez. And so the ball goes out of bounds. Lopez touched it last. And now another look at that mobile one block defensive performance. And this is why coaches stress the importance of defense. Big block there in this close game. And Los Angeles with some changes. Ken Bazemore comes in for Malik Monk. And it's Kendrick Nunn in for Russell Westbrook. Baysmore finds Anthony. Back to Baysmore. None with it. Let's it go with a three. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. Boy, at the offensive end, his game is so impressive. I mean, he's a threat every time up the floor. Hill passes to Connaughton. Outside Hill. Lopez outside. Back to Portis. Kicks it out to Allen. Four on the clock. Rebounded by the Lakers. And right from the start, Kevin, they've been pounding the glass. Most of those 50-50 balls also going their way. Well, I don't think there's any question about it. They came focused and ready to play. I mean, they're doing everything they can to uh, put things in their favor. You earn that, and they're actually earning it well right now. Howard, that's good. And it's a five-point Laker lead. And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. Here's Connaughton. No points in the game yet for him. Lopez inside, working on Howard. And the shot goes in. 59 seconds left in the first. Howard with a screen on Hill. None against Hill. None kicks to Anthony. A three. And they recover it. Pass to Baseman. Now here's Anthony. None finds Anthony. Here's Ariza. Rebound by Brooke Lopez. That's a shot he's got to hit. You don't get many looks better from that range. Pass to Portis. Dishes to Hill. Back to Portis. Over Howard. So active on this end of the floor. Love watching Howard use his wingspan to bother scores. A good close contest so far as we finish the first quarter. Lakers ahead, leading by three. And we'll get going after this from Milwaukee. And it's still early, but LeBron James expressed confidence in his team's performance. Sure. Um, 
you know, we had some, uh, you know, just early getting back into the flow of things, which every team in the NBA goes through that. But, uh, you know, what coaches ask us to do, we've done it. We've done it at a high level, and the other one is coming in great shape. Uh, guys look good. Uh, they're performing well. And Greg, we know getting off to a strong start is important when it comes to seeding. Yeah, I mean, the regular season is a marathon, but still, getting out of the gates well can make a difference. And close game underway so far. We'll see if either of these teams can jump out in the second quarter. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for Los Angeles. You know, guys, we've really seen them do a lot of damage in the paint so far. And also another aspect of their game that's been super so far tonight is how they've been sharing the basketball. And forward, they have Middleton and Giannis. At the guard positions, Holiday and DiVincenzo. And it's Portis in at the five spot. That's the group for Milwaukee right now. Now here's Rondo. And the foul on Drew Holiday. That's his first foul. Middleton against James. He scores the basket. That's field goal number three for him. After a whistle, we often see players demanding their coach challenge the call. Greg, were there plays you wish you could have challenged in your career? Oh, goodness, absolutely. But the game was just so different back then, and we had other ways of resolving issues and letting the refs know when we maybe didn't appreciate a call. Out of bounds, the Lakers will take possession. Lakers leading by three. Rondo scanning the floor. That shot off. So Milwaukee will take it the other way. Their next game playing at home as the Nets come into town. That'll be the last of three straight at home for the team. Here's DiVincenzo. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. When DiVincenzo is aggressive on offense, he's capable of getting calls when he's being assertive and attacking the rim. This is his first trip to the line tonight. And just 72% from the line a season ago. Not the greatest of numbers, but there are guys who are far worse off when it comes to free throw shooting. And he knocks down the first one. Boy, the upside DiVincenzo has is obvious. I mean, now it's up to him to continue working on his game and keep getting better. Russell Westbrook in for the Lakers. Good on the second, so he makes them both. And here in the second with about a minute and a half gone by. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Well, with the addition of Drew Holiday, this Bucks team has gotten even better. Giannis Adentokounmpo said, we've got a lot of talent and great players. I really believe in this group. As long as we stay healthy, we'll find a way to compete every night and give ourselves a chance. Guys, maybe they're stacked, that's for sure. Thanks. In last season, Middleton adding to his game, played more of a playmaking role. Great assist numbers for him. And for Middleton, he is not the primary ball handler, but Greg, he can fill in from time to time. And, and capable of playing the point forward if needed. Make, just make smart, simple plays. Great option to initiate the offense to kind of give you a different look. And it's tied up with that one. And Middleton, the former second-round pick now, has put a lot of work in on his game. I mean, a ton of work. Really carving out a nice spot in the league as a result of his hard work.
And that one falls, and that puts him up by one point. Boy, you talk about 3 and D, guys. Middleton is the epitome of that player. Great range, mid-range game, can defend multiple positions. He does all of that at an elite level. Now here's James. He's got six. No basket. Missed number five out of his eight shots. Hansa Takumbo dishes to Middleton. Rebound the Lakers. Davis has got his fifth rebound right now in the game. You know, Clark, many view Middleton as the prototypical perimeter point. I would not disagree at all. I mean, he does everything and does it all well. Now, here's DiVincenzo following the miss by Russell Westbrook. Portis finds Jonas. DiVincenzo with the screen for Amadokumbo. Unable to get that one. And here's Gasol. He'll bring it up for the Lakers. They trail by one. To the middle and stolen by DiVincenzo. In the corner, Middleton with it. Buries the long range jumper. Middleton's got five points now this quarter. Oh, I like seeing Middleton stroke it from downtown. That release of his, pure as white driven snow. LeBron passes to Davis. Shot to stop the run. DiVincenzo with the rebound. Bucks leading by four. Feeds it to Giannis. Right block shot. A solid play in the low block, and that one's good. Ande Dekumbo's got 10 points. At the offensive end, he's been assertive and efficient, guys. A big reason why they hold this lead right now. Westbrook passes to Gasol. Davis kicks to Rondo. Davis with a screen on Howard. Rondo. Los Angeles with another miss. For Milwaukee, they've gone three of their first five shots to drop here in the second quarter. Portis sets the pick for Middleton. And Davis sends it back. Not only does Davis have great skill, but he is tremendously agile. He can get shots from just about anywhere on the court. LeBron against Giannis. Trying to get open is DiVincenzo. And the shot is good. The Bucks' lead has been cut down to just four points in the bucket from Anthony Davis. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. Now here is Holiday. Over Rondo. And that one hits back iron. Boy, he knows he should have knocked that one down, especially with the defense not giving much of an effort. To the paint. And Giannis throws it down. And Anna Kumpo is so long. I mean, he stretches forever, covers a ton of ground. Rondo against Holiday. Davis setting the pick for Rondo. Now here is Davis. He's tightly guarded. Yep, that one goes in there. No surprise there. I mean, realizing he has the size advantage, he exploits it perfectly. And Holiday kicks to Giannis. The kick out to Holiday. In the corner, it's DiVincenzo. Here's Giannis. Davis with some nice D. Lakers trail by four. And the foul on Drew Holiday. That's foul number two for him. Picking up his second foul here has to be careful because they can pile up quickly. Malik Monk, he's checked in for Rajon Rondo. Here's Westbrook. He's got five. Gasol, a screen on under the Kumbo. Davis kicks to Westbrook. Five to shoot. LeBron passes to Westbrook. That three off the mark. Yeah, you know, guys, this has been far from his best game. A disappointing outing for both him and the team. Here's DiVincenzo. Good, and the assist goes to Middleton. Middleton's got his fourth assist in this one. James, the pass to Davis. Inside, here's Westbrook. And he overshot that one, missing. And the stroke definitely lacking confidence this quarter. Nothing on target. Davis with it. Now guarded by Middleton. When LeBron has it inside like that, I mean, it's almost impossible to stop him. Worst case scenario, he's going to get himself to the foul line. Los Angeles shooting their second and third free throws tonight.
Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That one is off. Probably a little draft in the arena tonight. He's the last guy you expect to miss the mark by that much. Absolutely. Milwaukee making a switch here. Lopez is checked in. And Los Angeles making a change here as well. Anthony's checked in. And he can't hit the second. Sometimes I think we take watching LeBron James for granted. I mean, no player in league history has been the best in the league for well over a decade. Extended greatness from the King in terms of championship finals appearances and any other measurable you want to use. On holiday after the missed three by Carmelo. Yeah, it's stolen by Monk. Down low, here's Westbrook. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. And it's seven points for Russell Westbrook. Sharing the basketball is a part of the game that Monk needs to continue to add to to complement his shooting. Giannis is double. He's looking for Middleton and finds him. The D just kind of stepping aside and letting him get to the rim. There's a reason, G.A., the lead is what it is right now. You know, you look at it, the communication is lacking, as is the trust. They can ill afford those types of breakdowns. It won't work. You can't win with those kind of breakdowns. Knocks it loose. Monk with the ball. And Holiday picks him up defensively. Davis setting the pick for Monk. Over Giannis. The shot by Monk is no good. Looking at the last game for Milwaukee, it was a loss to Dallas. There's the lob into the Kumbo, and it's blocked, and they're able to recover. Anthony against Lopez. There's a good screen. Outside Holiday. A three-pointer off the mark. And it's just one of those days, guys. He has just struggled to shoot the basketball. James kicks to West. Over Holiday. Giannis grabs the miss. Giannis has got his eighth rebound here tonight. He's lost it in this quarter, no doubt about it. Nothing seems to be going for him. Now here's Middleton. They lead by six, their biggest margin. DiVincenzo passes to Giannis. And the jam by Antetokounmpo. How about the flash by Antetokounmpo? I mean, just an insanely talented athlete who loves to punish that rim. And on the AT&T 5G Slam Cam, you can see how impressive that move was. Antetokounmpo against Davis. Back to LeBron. to the lane. Great D that time for Middleton. Bucks leading by eight. Even Genzo with it. Now Anthony defending. Onto Takumbo trying to free himself up. Even Genzo can't hit it. Davis dishes to Westbrook. Trying to end the drought. And the rejection by Giannis. And Holiday gets to Middleton. Over Anthony. And it's Brook Lopez with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. And some changes here for the Bucks. Pat Connaughton, he's checked in for Chris Middleton. Grayson Allen comes in for Dante DiVincenzo. And it's Hill in for Drew Holiday. Trevor Ariza's checked in for the Lakers. Kendrick Nunn comes in for Russell Westbrook. Davis surveying the floor. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. That's on Brook Lopez. Hey, you know, this is really the challenge of trying to defend Davis because not only is he tall and smart, but he's gotten stronger in his time in the league. And he typically blows through Take contact and draws fouls. Two shots. first free throw is good you know in this 21st 
century version of the NBA. Just being big is not enough. Davis personifies the evolution of the big guy. He's got game from everywhere on the floor. And the Lakers making a change here. Bazemore has checked in. And both free throws good for Davis. And they're getting to the line a lot in this quarter, guys, and it hasn't been by accident. Yeah, I don't think it's an accident that aggressiveness correlates with playing better. So the aggressiveness is starting to pay off. Now here's Allen. Back to under the Kumbo. A fader. Ariza with the rebound. And it's Ariza with the ball for the Lakers. Done with it. Let's it go from deep. His second shot goes in. Off to a good start. Two for two. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. Now, here's Lopez. Seven points in the game. Out of the Kumbo, trying to break loose. Milwaukee, no good that time either. Baysmore passes to Nunn. 129 left to play here in the half. Here's a reason. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And, you know, the length of Ariza is tough for defenses to deal with. Amazing watching him draw contact while getting into a shot. Lakers shooting their sixth and seventh free throws in the game. Yeah, last year, collectively, only 74% from the line. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he makes the first. The well-seasoned Ariza continues to make a difference. I mean, this veteran is a reliable scorer and a quality, quality defender. Howard's checked in for Anthony Davis. That one misses, so he goes one for two. And Brooke Lopez, such a great complimentary player, Greg, fits right in with this team. And he gives you good scoring with great efficiency. Very low turnover numbers. Everything you want from a role player. None against Hill. Howard with a screen on Hill. None passes to Howard. Over in the corner, Allen. And a great assist by Anacumbo as that one goes in. Allen's got the lead up to eight now for the Bucks. L.A.'s gotten into trouble with the three ball in the second quarter, only hitting one of five attempts. Baysmore passes to Nunn. The dish to Carmelo. Antetokounmpo pulls it in. Giannis has got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. No good from Connaughton. Lakers trail by eight. Anthony kicks to nine. Pass to Howard. 19 seconds left in the second quarter. Here's Anthony. He scores with that shot. Now he's three of eight. And love the muscle Anthony brings to the three spot. Takes pride in outworking everyone when he's that deep inside. Allen inside the three-point line. And that would have counted, but his uh, shot was off the mark this time. And so it's Milwaukee with a six-point lead at the end of the quarter. Their defensive mindset clearly focused on clamping down on LeBron James, and their game plan is working. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks, guys. Here with Coach Budenholzer. Mike, your evaluation of the first half. Well, I think both teams' defense is pretty good. You know, hopefully somebody can catch a rhythm here and score some points. Um, you know, hopefully we can be better there. And yeah, that'll be key as the game goes on, Coach. Thanks. Back to you. Okay, David, much appreciated. And now time for halftime. So we'll be back in just a bit to get the third quarter underway.
Greetings, everybody. The story so far revolving around Giannis, the Greek freak, in fine form tonight. I used to love games like this, Ernie, when I was getting in that groove down low. It's me like he's taking charge, making barbecue chicken stew in the post. They got to get a body on him. It's going to be more of the same in the second half. Barbecue chicken stew alert. And moving on here, how about the fantastic matchup at the power forward position in this one? Yeah, man, this is what we were hoping for. The two alpha dogs are squaring off. And when the team leaders are staring each other down, it's extra proud in line. They're bringing out the best of each other. Down, boy, down. And that about wraps it up. And as the third quarter is about to begin, we go to Kevin Harlan for the call. Second half of basketball upon us. We may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game it's been so far. You look at Anadokounmpo and this game has been everywhere. As impressive as the block totals are from him early on, they don't even tell the whole story. He's changed countless others. Yeah, you know, he's been up in the air so often he's been absolutely a pest on the defensive end. We've got second half action for you, and if the next couple quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. Taking a look at Los Angeles, and they have their big three all out there. Westbrook at the point, with LeBron and Davis at the forward. Marcus Saul is out there with Malik Monk. Lakers trail by six, the three from LeBron, hits it from three-point range. James has got nine points. Off a hot feed right there, LeBron, automatic. On the wing, Holiday. He's covered by Westbrook. Holiday, the pass to Giannis. Middleton against James. Giannis sets a screen for Middleton. And there's the drive. And Davis sends it back. Holiday against LeBron. Basket number five goes in. He's now 5 of 12 from the floor. You know, at six foot eight, with the ball skills that James has, he handles it like a guard. He can get wherever he wants to off the dribble. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Drew Holiday has been a welcome addition to this Bucks team. Chris Middleton said he just knows how to play the game on and off the ball, how to move without it, how to set guys up. He makes the game easier for everybody. He's made them a lot better. Guys. That's how you make us, David. Thank you with stories like that. That kid, Andrew Holiday, he is a quality kid. Wonderful character, terrific play. Now Middleton, after Westbrook's missed three, and Middleton kicks to Holiday. Back to Middleton. Giannis dishes to Holiday. Lopez a screen. Middleton can't get it to go. He's tried to get it going, but the shots simply have not been there. Nothing seems to be falling. James finds Davis. And the rejection by Adekumbo. It's going to be out of bounds. Los Angeles will retain possession. Let's take another look at the staunch defense during that mobile one block. Yeah, quick thinking pays off big. What a block. On defense, Milwaukee. Three-point lead. Here's Westbrook, taken away by Holiday. To the inside. Giannis passes to DiVincenzo. Those three-pointers off the mark. And here's Westbrook. He'll bring it up for the Lakers. They've only allowed two points so far here in the second half. And it's Brook Lopez with the foul. That's his fourth foul of the contest. And that's his fourth, and no doubt he would have liked to have not gotten it this soon. Hey, yo, wrestle, 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 wrestle. Outside Westbrook. And another miss. Oof. He's having a really ugly game. Yeah, about as ugly as you can have, you're right. 
Back to Giannis. And under the combo, shoves it in. Terrific find that time by Holiday. You get open. Drew will get it to you. Lakers trail by five. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Davis, the pass to James. The kick out to Westbrook. Banked in off the glass. Westbrook's got nine. And you know, coaches will take possessions like that all day long. Phenomenal use of the screen there. Outside Holiday. A little under two and a half minutes off the clock now here in the third. Six on the shot clock. And he comes up with the deuce. Holiday's got his second bucket of the game to go. So many different ways that Holiday can beat you because he's got great length and size for a guard, and that allows him not to be afraid to mix it up inside. And it's Westbrook missing. Bucks leading by five. Even Genzo with it. It's all covering. Marcus Saul picks up the foul. That's foul number two for him. And the Bucks making a change here. Portis is checked in. The Lakers also with a sub. Rondo's checked in. Holiday against Rondo. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. Shot clock at five. From deep three-point range, rebound the Lakers. Davis has got nine rebounds in the game, getting it done. Holiday against Rondo. On the wing, James. Gasol setting the pick for LeBron. Outside for Gasol. Yes, and it's LeBron picking up the assist. LeBron's got three assists now in this one. Wow, something's brewing, guys. The three-pointers just continue to flow. Yeah, they've had a great second half from long range. I mean, things are definitely starting to look up for them. The Lakers have gone an even 50% from the floor here in the third quarter. Four of eight. Davis, the pass to Rondo. James with it. Here's Davis, and it's Davis finishing it off. Boy, Davis, a game-wrecking presence around the basket. Excellent agility for a big guy. And Holiday gets to Middleton. And there's the pass to DiVincenzo. On the wing, Holiday. Milwaukee, no good that time either. LA's gone two or three when they ventured outside the arc in the third quarter. Rondo can't get it to go. Milwaukee has gotten off to a very slow start from three-point range in the second half. They're 0 for 4. Middleton outside. Lopez a screen on the line, and he makes that one. Middleton's got 12. Well, I like the fact that Middleton takes advantage of the mid-range jump shot. When he gets room to pull the trigger from there, he's taking it, and he's almost automatic. Rondo finds James. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead there. Milwaukee in the lead. Here's DiVincenzo. It's hauled in by LeBron. LeBron's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. And so the ball goes out of bounds. Lopez touched it last. A different look from Milwaukee. Pat Connaughton comes in for Brooke Lopez. And George Hills subbed in for Drew Holiday. Big group substitution here for the Lakers. Dwight Howard's checked in for Gasol. Anthony comes in for Davis. Kent Bazemore's checked in for James. And it's Kendrick Nunn in for Monk. So it's the Lakers now. Pass to Anthony. High post, Howard. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Chris Middleton. That's foul number two for him. Mason Allen's checked in for Milwaukee. Rondo against Hill. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Taking a look here at the numbers for Allen. Some last 
last season stats for him. Put up about 10 points per game, three rebounds, and two assists. And really for him, it's about putting in the work and improving his game. Yeah, and I think he wants to. It's one of those things where you either want it or you don't, and he does. That free throw, no good. You know, I still think um, Rondo is a great role player in the league. He knows he's out there to distribute the ball and provide leadership on the floor, and he does both really well. And he's good on the second. And so it's Hill with it. He brings it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. It's a one-point game. Middleton dishes to Hill. With the drive, good, and the assist goes to Middleton. Middleton's got five assists tonight. Beautiful work from Hill. The way he fends off the defender and completes these opportunities, special. Now here's Rondo. Anthony with the screen on Hill. Rondo from outside off the mark. And the well is running dry for him right now. Nothing falling. And, you know, you can sense his frustration. This is going to be a test of his resolve here. And Hill has it in the corner. Middleton, a screen on run. Hill, no good. Lakers trail by three. Now Bazemore. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. He feeds it to Rondo, and that's out of bounds. The Lakers will retain possession. Here is the 2K leaderboard with the list of last season's top three-point shooters. Here's Bazemore. Outside Anthony. Five on the clock. Over Middleton. No good off the front iron. Bucks leading by three. Down low. And it's sent back by Howard. Get that weak stuff out of here around Howard. Return to Cinder is what he stamped that one with. Pass to Rondo. Howard setting the pick for Rondo. He dishes it to Howard. And the basket is good. Howard's got his second bucket. And guys, the D has to show a little more fight on the interior than they did on that trip. Passes it to Connaughton. For three, Middleton. That shot, no good. So the Lakers will take it the other way. But still, eventually you got to feel like he'll start knocking those down again. Here's Howard. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Howard's got four points in the quarter sensational at hitting the glass. Howard has fantastic timing when he goes after those rebounds. Here's Connaughton. He kicks it to Middleton. Outside Portis. Here's Connaughton. And they turn over the 24-second buzzer, signaling the shot clock violation. You know, guys, sometimes that just happens, but you don't like to see it when the game is this close. The Lakers making a switch here. Ariza's checked in. The Lakers in the lead. Nunn finds Bazemore. Nunn with the screen for Bazemore. To the middle. Got a piece of it. Stolen by Middleton. Allen surveying the D. And Connaughton has it in the corner. Back to Middleton. Outside Portis. Hill a screen on Howard. Four on the shot clock. Milwaukee, no good that time either. Los Angeles has gone two of five with the three-point shot since coming out of the break. The feed now to Anthony. And the layup's good off the glass. Anthony's got eight points. Nice job creating for the easy deuce some tough offensive sets they want to turn it around yeah right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum back to Middleton here's Connaughton Reza covering and so Milwaukee again turning it over 
Russell Westbrook's checked in for the Lakers. And here's Los Angeles. They're on a 14 to 6 run. And he uses the glass on the layup. Westbrook's got the lead up to five now for the Lakers. Just by nature of his style, Westbrook is going to draw contact. So he's got to be strong enough and focused enough to play through it. And he is and does. Now, here's Portis. He's still scoreless so far in this one. The three, Middleton. Baysmore grabs the miss. Baysmore's got four rebounds now tonight. Westbrook passes to none. The shot, no good. Excellent D there from Hill. Now the pass to Portis. And Portis throws it down. Oh, and he went for the two-hander on the slam using some muscle. Some urgency from him there. Sure. I get the feeling, guys, that he may be sensing that this is a critical time in this game. Count the basket. He's got 13. You know, Westbrook able to score from anywhere. He just is so assertive and confident in what he can do out there. Pass to Connaughton. There's 49 seconds left here in the third quarter. Dishes it to Middleton. Lays it up off the glass. Middleton's got 14. That was really a platinum level effort from Middleton. I mean, crafty in how he carved out room for himself on the interior. Now, here's Westbrook. Anthony finds Westbrook. Ariza outside. Back to Westbrook. Fires for three. Marries it from three-point range. And the Lakers lead by six. Really in a good position thanks to the accuracy from beyond. Yeah, you got that right. I mean, you got it real right. They are lighting it up from beyond the arc. This half. Pass to Middleton. Over Ariza. Off the left rim and out. Russell Westbrook has been leading the charge for Los Angeles. What a quarter that saw them generate a great comeback effort and are now out in front with momentum behind them. And we'll be right back after this. And a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assists of the game. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them. And what a beautiful feat. For me, next to the big-time alley-oops and monster throwdowns, passes like that are probably the next best thing when it comes to sweet-looking NBA highlights. Three tense quarters behind us. One more to go. Thanks for being with us as we begin the fourth. Long-time teammates Middleton and Giannis, the forwards. At the guard positions, Holiday and DiVincenzo. And it's Lopez in at the five. That's the group for Milwaukee right now. Los Angeles needs to get off a shot here. Davis, it's going by to Kumbo. A shot by Middleton, wide open. And a great assist by Kumbo as that one goes in. Andre DeCumbo's got five assists in the game. Westbrook passes to LeBron. Westbrook with a screen for James. Kicks to Monk. And he drives in. He can't get it to go. Good D by Holiday. On the wing, Holiday. Over Westbrook. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. Los Angeles leading by three. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. That one is on Holiday. Yeah, when you look at Monk's shot mechanics, they're really solid. Even with the foul, he completed his follow-through in his shooting motion. Impressive. And guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for Los Angeles. 
You know, block shots, guys, a clear indicator on the stat sheet of their excellent defense. I mean, leaving them no room to get off any shots. And also, their second chance points have been a story all night as well. But that's just pure effort and hustle. Free throw drops for Monk. Boy, Monk is so lethal and efficient as a scorer. I mean, great range, always hunting his shot. Um, I'd like to see him work on his passing, but, man, he can put it in the basket. That one misses. Yeah, the main thing here, though, guys, is just to make sure you get a two-possession game. Yeah, it's stolen by Monk, and they're moving it up. Passes to Anthony. Looking to get it going. LeBron, no luck. Bucks trail by four. Holiday surveying the floor. The pass to Lopez. And he makes good on the way. And I love it when Lopez attacks inside. Even with contact, he can find a way to score. Pass to Westbrook. Now Anthony. Nice ball movement here by the Lakers. Davis kicks to James. Clock at four. It's good from long range. Really nice looking stroke on James's shot from out at the arc. He can make the three-point shot look so easy just like he does every other part of the game. Those plays can make a difference in a game like this. <laughs> well, you know it's going to fire up, Greg, everybody on that bench. Making a statement for sure. I mean, we'll see if they can maintain that aggressive approach, guys. Offensive rebound, Davis. That's good again. His seventh basket, seven for ten from the floor. Things really rolling for AD now. This could be a big night for him. Pass to DiVincenzo. Holiday with it. Right side out of the Kumbo. Giannis is double. The shot from the low post is good. And that's right in his wheelhouse. Looking to make an impact when it counts. You know, they want the ball in his hands here because they trust him to hit all the big shots. Now, here's Monk. Marcus Ols check in for Carmelo Anthony. to the wing passes it to Monk Westbrook kicks to Monk pocket six the tray Milwaukee with the rebound Lopez has got seven rebounds in the game Giannis dishes to Holiday there's the lob and Takumbo up high to stop the alley -oop. There are nights that Antetokounmpo can reach a level few have in NBA history. The MVP feeling it tonight. Now here's LeBron. Here's Westbrook driving inside. Just the kind of play they need in a game this close. You know, that's the kind of aggression they want from their floor leader. And it just forces the defense to pay more attention to him, guys, which we know can open up things for others. And they double up Antetokounmpo. Here's Lopez, and Lopez throws it down. You know, this is one of the reasons why Giannis's teammates appreciate him, because when they're open, he finds you. Here's James. Rebound, Milwaukee. Middleton's got his sixth rebound on the night. And the rebound battle split evenly thus far. Yeah, tip for tat on the glass. Just one more aspect of what's been a very closely contested ball game here. Now here's James following the miss by Giannis. Westbrook passes to Gasol. And there's the call on Giannis Antetokounmpo. That's foul number two for him. And now only one away from being in the penalty. Yep, the next one puts them on the line, so they've got to be careful the rest of the way. Now here's Westbrook. Outside, Davis. Tell you what, it's not easy to fool Lopez on the defensive end. 
Good job from him to bother that shot. Inside, it's tipped. Gasol with the steal. Now, here's Monk, defended by DiVincenzo. And here is Monk, to the right side. Down to five on the shot clock. Westbrook kicks to Davis. Puts up a three. Onto the Kumbo, grabs the miss. Giannis has got 13 rebounds in the game. Class eating. Oh, and out of the Kumbo, hammers it in. Good find that time by DiVincenzo, an unselfish player always looking to make the extra pass. And so James will bring it up with the Lakers. Davis with a screen on Middleton. Here's LeBron, and he gets the bucket. James has got five points now in the quarter. We can expect a dramatic end to this one. Yeah, no, no quit by either side, guys. Neither team willing to give any ground. Kumbo kicks to Holiday. On the wing, DiVincenzo. Kumbo finds DiVincenzo. They get it again. And nothing fancy, really, about that play. That's just good, old-fashioned, hard-nosed basketball to get that one. A jump hook. That's good from Davis on the assist by James. And now it's a three-point Laker lead. Once AD gets the ball inside, he's about there. And a little power takes care of the rest. Here's Young. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Yeah, easy call. Yeah, you can hear the smack all the way over here where we are. Shooting two. The first one falls. During this 2019 to 2020 MVP season, Giannis Antetokounmpo led the Bucks to back-to-back -back one seeds in the East. The Greek Freaks defense helping Milwaukee to number one defensive ratings each of those years, too. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Los Angeles has gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. Westbrook passes to Gasol. Davis dishes to James. From downtown, Antetokounmpo pulls it in. Antetokounmpo's got 14 rebounds tonight. Going after. Shots good by Middleton. Rhythm and timing so important in the game of hoop. Middleton using both on that pull-up jumper. James finds Westbrook. Davis setting the pick for James. Plays it up and banks it in. James has got the game tied up here for the Lakers. It's the superb move on the interior there. It could not have come at a better time. Just a smart, forceful finish. The shot's good from DiVincenzo. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass. Well, when you look at the assist totals, heck, it's been clearly the better team. And he's an automatic finisher when he gets into that area. He is, and he picks the simple one-hand stuff to get the two points. Hey, guys, I know I'm stating the obvious here, but those could be an important two points considering how close this game is. Here's Holiday following the bucket by the Lakers. There you see how tough Holiday is. He simply pressed and forced the issue there and got the defense to overcommit. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And 
free throw good from Holiday. Well, if you want to get an idea of just how valuable Drew Holiday can be to a team, look at what the Bucks gave up to get him in 2020. A bunch of first-round picks and some pick swaps as well. And they're pleased that they got it. Both good from the line that time. Impeccable from the line since halftime. No misses yet. You can't do much better than that, guys. Westbrook with a screen for LeBron. Lopez with the steal. And now the fast break. Middleton with the ball. For Davis. Here's Giannis. And terrific work on the offensive glass when he picks up two. Giannis has got 12 points here in the second half. And what's your take, guys, on the hustle sticks for the Bucks? Their high-energy defensive effort has paid off for them, guys, with more than a few steals over the course of the ballgame. And, and also, how about the points they've gotten in transition or on the fast break tonight? That's been a huge factor as well. Allen's checked in for Chris Middleton. Now here's LeBron. The pass to Westbrook. Now Davis. Ball's not loose. The dish to James. Shot clock at six. Over Allen. And the shot is good. The Bucks lead has been cut down now to just two on the basket from LeBron. Oh, he is just so clutch. Saving his best for when the pressure is at its highest. Now here's Young. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. That one on Davis. Defense has Giannis well covered, but he gets physical right back and draws the foul in the act of shooting. Shoot two. Good from out of the Kumbo. Free throws good from out of the combo. Of course, he didn't have an attempt there in the first half. He's hoping to be a little bit more active and aggressive here and draw some fouls here in the second. Now here's James. That's tipped. Feeds it to Gasol. In the corner, it's Monk. And such a nice move to make the basket work. We know he can shoot deep. He also has a nice touch inside, so Monk has a lot of confidence wherever he's shooting the ball from. Now here is Holiday to the paint. And the rejection by James. On the combo against Westbrook. Pass to James. 153 left here in the fourth quarter. The feed to Davis to tie it up and the Lakers check on two more well we know what a skilled passer Westbrook is but you still got to appreciate that dime there very impressive here's Young and he gets the whistle two free throws coming up that one on Davis And that hurts as he doesn't get the first one to 
fall. Trying to focus now on the second. And the Bucks making a change here. Hills checked in. No good on the second free throw, so he goes 0 for 2 there. This possession gives them a chance to take the lead. Yeah, they don't want to let this one slip away. Westbrook against Howard. To take the lead, and Westbrook, here we go. And, and another great rebound there. I mean, he's pulled down a ton of them, and, and the size issue has not been a problem here today. And here's James up bringing up for Los Angeles. On the wing, Monk. LeBron kicks to West. Gasol is screen on Howard. Westbrook passes to Monk. Found it! And you can't get a bigger bucket than that. Well, that was one, too. He wanted the ball. Nobody else was taking that shot. Chris Middleton's checked in for Milwaukee. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Oldham. Hey guys, well Mike Dugan holds her had some advice for the team during the timeout. He said, this is what we play for, fellas. Let's knock them on their heels right out of the timeout. Show them how much you want it. Go get it. He really is fired up about this game. Man. There's 53 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And they double up out of Dekumbo. To end the run. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Pass to Davis. Over Giannis. And it's Davis missing. This isn't a done deal yet, but they have got to move quick. They've got to go all out trying to force a turnover here. Passes it to Andre Kumbo, and stolen by James. And they commit an intentional foul. We'll see another one of those so they can get into the penalty. Hey, you know what? Smart foul. you got to try and extend the game. Sure. It's not over. The clock is as much a problem for them as the score is right now, so they've got to try to manage it. It's the first, and that gives them a four-point cushion. And a tough break as a second attempt at the line. No good.
There's 14 seconds left to play in the final quarter. It drops. And that shot brings them to within just one. You know, quite frankly, Middleton is the kind of guy that scores from all over the court. I mean, you just have to give him a little room so he can get his shot off, and he's typically knocking it down. And there's the intentional foul. No choice but to stop the clock here. First free throw, missing for him. We'll see if he can nail the second. He's able to hit the second one, and that will put them up by two. Nine seconds left in the fourth. Giannis kicks to DiVincenzo. Middleton for three. Buries the triple! Just a humongous fourth quarter for him, especially from long range. Just in a groove now, and that trade has been deadly. to win the game. Oh, the all or nothing shot, no good. And so it's the Bucs who come out on top here. That was a fun night of basketball and fabulous finish as they continued to wait out until the very last moment to seal it. And there are so many times when you see these tight games won at home, that advantage of having that crowd behind you oftentimes is the ultimate X factor. And now, let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline for our player of the game. David, take it away. Thank you, Kevin. Giannis coming off a loss in the last game. How did you all bounce back tonight? I think we just played hard. Uh, you know, we just tried to get back on track. Uh, we trusted one another, we moved the ball real well. And I think we uh, got back to our old habit. Start defending and helping one another on defense. One example of old habits not being bad, right? Congrats on the win. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. And that'll do it for the first game of the NBA season. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. And now, our New Balance player of the game, Giannis Antetokounmpo.